to my channel today. You'll see another Strictly Come Dancing inspired makeup look and the dance I decided to do today is the quick step, something quite fun, fast. Um, so I thought I'd go kind of colourful and vibrant with the makeup this time. So the theme is kind of pink. Um, so this week on Strictly is actually musical week which I kind of didn't really plan for that well. Uh, but I thought as um, my kind of the colour theme that I go for is all pink then I would go for, um, oh, based off Greece and be a pink lady. So it's not quite um, the right look, but that's kind of what I'm gonna go for today. But I thought before I jump into the look, as it's the 1st of December when I'm filming, I thought obviously now's appropriate time to open my advent calendar. So I got the Glitter Eyes Sparkling Christmas Beauty Advent Calendar. Um, like I mentioned in my favourites video, I wanted to get something, I wanted to be an advent calendar for ages, but I wanted to get something that maybe I'm lacking in my makeup kit and I don't have that much of, and glitter is definitely that, and I thought, as I'm doing Strictly looks at the moment, it's very appropriate, and I thought I'd open it now, so I will be opening this on camera in every video in December, leading up to Christmas, but obviously I thought it was very appropriate and I wanted to do this before I started makeup just in case the glitter that I got in today's um, number um, fitted in with my theme of the makeup look. So, so here is the advent calendar here, so you've got a nice little bow. So I think I don't just get glitter in here, I get obviously the um, tools and things like that as well. So here you go, you can't really see it. So, I'm excited by card. Okay, so here is number one. So I had to get my hair grip to kind of start it because it's not that easy to get off. So. Okay, so I'm completely rude. This the hair. Okay, so pull this out. Okay, so it comes in a little box. So it says glitter eyes, gold glitter with real gold dust. Oh, for use on face and body. So I'm guessing it's going on the loose, oh crappy loose glitters. Ooh. Okay, so it comes like this, so like a little ball ball type situation. Ooh. Okay, yep, yeah, so it's loose glitter. Very beautiful, so gold, obviously. I'm gonna use it up too much now. So beautiful gold glitter. I mean, I probably could actually incorporate a little bit of gold into today's makeup look, so we'll see. So maybe I will feature this, but that's really pretty. And a really beautiful gold, and definitely is great for kind of the festive season. So that's a good one to start off with, and I like how it's in a little ball ball shaped container. Okay, so now on to the actual makeup look. Okay, so to start off, I'm taking my e.l.f. Mineral Primer to prime my skin. And I wish I'd uh, cleaned my hands after touching the um, glitter, because I do did get specks of the gold glitter on my face. You have to just ignore that. So now I'm taking the PHB Liquid Skin um, Foundation, and I'm using this all over my face, obviously. This foundation gives a nice medium coverage, I think, so quite good for slightly more glamorous looks. And then I'm taking the Correction and Art Infection Concealer to um, pop under my eyes and on any blemishes that I have as well. I'm also using it to prime my eyes as well. And to set that in place, I'm taking my Freedom Translucent Powder. And like always, I'm only setting the areas I pop the concealer, not on the rest of my face, because I am about to go in some cream products. The first one is this Tanya Burr Cheek Illuminator. And it's a really beautiful pink shade, so I'm popping this all on the tops of my cheekbones and just blending it in with my foundation brush. But because it is more of a pinky toned, I didn't want to use it for the rest of my face. So I'm going with my collection, um, I think it's called the Speedy Highlighter Stick. This is like in a pearly, um, iridescent, or pearlescent, sorry, colour. So I'm using that to highlight the rest of my um, face. Then I'm taking some blusher, this is from the brand Bean Super Jug, and it's the blusher called Make Me Blush. And I'm popping this onto my cheeks, and that is all the face products that I'm going to be using today. I wanted to keep it, like I said, a quite pink theme and quite um, fun. 
So I'm going with the MUA, I think this is the Vixen palette, and I'm taking that shade there just to act as my transition shade today. I'm using my 100% Pure E40 brush to blend that all out. Then I'm taking more of this more salmon pink colour on the exact same brush and I'm focusing this more onto the crease and slightly bring it onto the lid as well. Then I'm going with this very beautiful vibrant pink, still using the exact same brushes. Some days I just have those days where I just want to use the exact same brush, I'm just being a bit lazy. Um, and then I'm just popping this, this is on the outer section of the lid and I slightly bring it in across as well. Then on a luxy brush, I'm taking this grey shade just to very lightly deepen up the outer corners, just so it doesn't look too pink. Then I'm going with this e.l.f. Molten Liquid um, eyeshadow. This is the shade Rose Gold. I'm using this just on the inner section of the lid. This is going to act as a base. And then I'm going to go with this beautiful shimmery colour from the palette again. I'm going to pop this on top. And I'm just making sure it's blended into the rest of the colours. Then I'm going back in with a salmon shade and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line using my Kiko pencil brush. And then I'm going to take some of that beautiful pink shade and also run this along the um, lower lash line as well. And then just to deepen up slightly I'm taking a flat to finer brush from Luxie and I'm taking that grey shade again and just pressing this against the lower lash line. Then I'm taking some more of that shimmer shade just to kind of pop on the um, lower lash line and then I'm taking this beautiful pearl shade to highlight my brow bone. And then this is me, actually I did apply some of that glitter from the Glitterize Advent Calendar, the gold stuff, just to pop it in the inner corner for a pop of glitter. Uh, then I'm taking the PHB Ethical Beauty Mascara and giving my upper and lower lashes a good couple of coats. And then I go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. So I'm taking my Lily Lolo Eyebrow Duo in the shade Dark and using this to fill in my eyebrows. Then I'm going with this Neve Cosmetics Pastello Lip Liner. I can't remember the shade name, but I'll leave it linked down below. It's a beautiful bright pink. I'm using this to outline my lips. I do fill them in ever so slightly as well. And then I go in with this Specifica Devotion Lipstick in the shade XOX. Beautiful pink shade, glossy, just to fill in the rest of the lips. And that is the makeup portion complete. So like I said, quite a pink theme. I kept it, I guess, kind of monochromatic. Is that the right word? Yeah. Um, so that's that and then moving on to the hair so I split the hair in half and I created two plaits going down each side not French braid just plaits and I took each of the plaits and just wrapped them around the back of my head tacking, tacking the ends of each into the other to kind of disguise them and that's the hair look for this one complete and I left some of the front sections down as well and then I like I said, I was going for a pink theme, and this is kind of, I guess, a little bit Pink Ladies-ish, but not really. So it's a beautiful, just white, um, ribbed bodysuit, and I've got this pink layered skirt to go with it for the quick step. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.